This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you all of the biggest features of the S Pen for your Galaxy Note 8. So a lot of people ask, well, why do I wanna get the Note? What, what makes it so great? What the hell can you actually do with the S Pen? So today I'm here to show you. So first and foremost, probably the most thing that everyone likes about the pen that pretty much everyone will use at one point or another is when your screen is off and you need to write down a note, you can just immediately take the pen out and just start writing. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to launch anything. You can just start writing. It is pressure sensitive too. So the harder you write, the more it'll stand out. Now, not only that, but say you want to do like a grocery list or something along those lines. Well, you can have that and then pin it to your main screen. And this will stay on there for about 10 minutes uh, without you touching it. So it, you just double tap it to make it go small. And then when you need to bring it up, you just double tap this icon again. And it brings it right up so you can see exactly what it is. So that's really great just so you can immediately start writing on it and, and have something saved like a grocery list, something that you need to make sure you don't forget it shortly. And then just double tap right here to get rid of it. So that's screen off mem. Another great one is going to be the fact that you can highlight anything. So this is my favorite feature. I love to be able to highlight anything like on instant messengers or on places you can't normally highlight things like this. So this is on Instagram and on Instagram if you held something down with your finger well all you can do is basically report it and that's about it but with the S Pen you have free range to do anything so you click the button right here hold it down and you can now actually highlight text and you can adjust this of course after the fact but the whole thing is is this is something you can't do with a stylus this is something you can't do with your fingers. This is only something you can do with the S Pen. It overrides any app so you can highlight anything you want to highlight. So that is probably my personal favorite feature. Now, another great feature is the fact that you can also do something called Smart Select. So Smart Select uh, has been around for a while and just the easy way, so if I wanna take this Instagram photo, bam, I could take it you know, right away. I could obviously make that a little bit nicer. And I can also auto select it so that it kind of highlights maybe it thinks I only want this green thing so it will just take uh, that part or remove it so now this one is my new save or I can remove add to it so you can cut out what part you want to so it only gets the part that it thinks you want so really nice for that if you want to highlight something or you can extract the text uh, from something so it can actually take text text and automatically copy it or you can pin it to a screen you can save it as your new wallpaper so say this is what I want to be my new always on display well now this can be my always on display and that's what pops up every time I go to my phone so these are all possibilities you can do with it you can even make something called a gif which basically with this allows you to say go to a YouTube video hit smart select hit animated gif and you can think of this as like a moving photo. That's what most people kind of refer to it as. And it's available on things like Facebook, Twitter, all of these kind of places you can actually send and receive gifts. So I'm gonna play this, then record, and now it's going to save this as my new gift. So I can send it anyone I want, and now this is it. So now this is something that I can send to whoever I want. So this just allows you to create one basically for anything. And one really cool thing about GIFs is they can actually be saved for your contact. So in your contacts, you can actually save a GIF instead of just saving a picture. So it's always an animated picture anytime that person calls. So it's a really cool feature that I like a lot. Now, other features are going to be on this wheel, handy dandy wheel and just quickly go through it. Screen write allows you to immediately uh, write on top of the screen so you can actually just you know point out stuff and you can do things by highlighting. You can do it straight up a pen if you want and have all of this kind of thing. So that's pretty simple and easy to explain. 
but one of the main things you'll want to always do is create notes, right? So anytime you're anywhere on your screen, you can immediately double tap the screen by holding down the pen. So you hold down the button and then tap the pen on the screen twice. And this will immediately launch a memo. So you can immediately start writing it kind of akin to the old action memo uh, program. So it's just a quick way to write down and jot down notes and save them to your Samsung Notes app, which is right here. Now, the other thing that most people don't know you can do is anywhere you can type, you can actually write. So it doesn't matter what app you're on. So let me just go online. If I wanted to type here, I bring up my Samsung keyboard and if it's a mic, then you just change it to this. And this is text to write. So you can, oops. Sometimes you do need to put your own spaces if it's not clear that it's a space. So simple and easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, it gets even easier. So anything you write will always be converted to text. And you can always do that too by, if you hover over, you have this little icon pop up. And that will bring it up as well. So if I tap this, now I can immediately start writing on here. And actually it does auto space, but since I'm on a search uh, slash typing a website, it's not letting me uh, auto space. So that's just another thing you can do to make it simple and easy. And then now the uh, newer stuff is mainly these three. So first live message, you can create your own live message. So what does that mean? It means you can select a color and write. You can change these around as you see fit. And you can also change the effects. So if you want it to sparkle, that's the one you want to use. You also have a glow one right here. And then finally, you just have a regular old pen. And basically when you send this, it actually writes it out. So it's another GIF, and you can send this over anyone through text message or anything along those lines. So finally, uh, the last ones are gonna be Bigsby Vision. So Bigsby Vision is something that uh, the Samsung S8 had, but now you're actually going to be able to use it on a different set circumstances just because you can use, do it with a pen. So what that means is if you're on a QR code, I can hover over this and just tap it. And that's where the QR code brought me. Or I can also do that by going to say a website and for, this is an international version. So it's gonna bring up European uh, Amazon, but I can hit the shopping button and see if this product is cheaper on Amazon. Now, it mainly uses Amazon for all of your shopping needs, so just know that, that that's what it's gonna use to bring up. But if you ever see a bag you like, some shoes you like, or any kind of electronics, you can just highlight it and it will shop on Amazon for you. Now, you can also even translate by this same token. And by the way, with this, you can do a lot more, but that's just a quick showing of Bigsby Vision. Translate, though, will actually translate from one language to another. So. If I want to go over here, hover over, it will, oh, it can translate one word. You can type this T right here to translate a whole paragraph, which is a lot more useful. And now you could see up to 30,000 people seeking shelter in Houston as it continues to raining. So it really gives you a really great translation and you have different languages to choose from and it might vary by your region so if you don't see all these languages just know that it might vary by your region this is an international one so i get all of them and finally you also have glance so glance the whole idea behind it is that uh, let me actually get out of this first 
that you have the ability to quickly go between different apps. So say if you needed to have this to quickly go to it, I could just leave it down there, do whatever I wanted to, and then quickly go back to it. It's really handy for a reference information. So if you were looking up a phone number or a restaurant or something like that and need the address, you can quickly see it right there if you don't want to highlight it or just copy it with your S Pen. So those are all the main features for the S Pen. You also have Magnify, which um, I call, I mean, it depends on what you want to uh, use it for, but uh, I call the fact that it could be like a creeper kind of thing or like you really want to inspect someone. So if I really wanted to zoom in on this food, I can zoom in and really make sure it's some good food. Some good food, Lara Gold. Uh, so you have that ability to, and you know, you can just zoom in over anything and magnify it. So if it's something hard to read, then you can quickly just zoom into it. I actually also like it for, say these photos, I really want to see how good the quality is. Instead of just pinching to zoom, I can literally just go around here and see how this bokeh effect really played out and see that it's pretty good. So that's how you can kind of test out and see different things with the magnifier. I find that not as many people will like it. Uh, obviously, if you if it's hard to see certain things, like my brother is hard to see certain things with his eyesight, so he might use it and definitely my mom would. So those are the uses for the S Pen. Let me know if you have any other questions or if you're like, oh, does it still have this feature from the S Pen from before? By the way, the clicking does nothing and no, you cannot put it in the wrong way anymore. So they got rid of that with the, uh, Note 7, um, but most people don't know about that because of everything that happened, of course. So those are all the things with the S Pen. Uh, it does vibrate your phone if you walk away from it too, uh, just because your phone detects that there's nothing in the slot, so your hair phone will be like, hey, you're leaving your S Pen behind. Hopefully that's everything you need to know. If you have any other questions about the S Pen, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.